I think that um, some of the stuff that people think about demonic possession, let's say, is coming from the movies where you see, I don't know, a woman who is possessed and, and a bunch of priests try to restrain her, something like that, and she has uh, superhuman powers, or all these things. I think this is more Hollywood, Hello. but basically when I was being attacked in that session, you know, I was being explained about the heart center, how it protects myself. I was being shown to do a bubble kind of to protect myself. I was getting these like beings trying to like, you know, get closer to me and I was protecting myself with, uh, with the bubble around me from the heart chakra. And finally I hear just say no and push, and this whole bubble just exploded and pushed all these beings around me. Hey, this is Mike Sigla from truthfeary.com and welcome to another episode of True Spirituality. So True Spirituality is my series where I talk about metaphysics, esoteric ideas and teachings, mysticism, shamanism, consciousness, spirituality, star seeds, meditation, psychedelics, a little bit of everything. So if you like these types of topics and if you are new here, please subscribe and have a look at previous episodes as well because we have something like 90, 90 episodes already published so a lot of content and i'm sure you're gonna enjoy some of the previous episodes so have a look at them check them out so today we're gonna talk about demonic possession a little bit dark subject but I think it is important for people to understand it. And before we're gonna start, I just wanna say one thing that if you are someone who watches or listens to my content regularly and you are enjoying what I'm doing or enjoying some of my content, please consider supporting this project and you can do it through, for example, becoming a YouTube member. So you can become a YouTube member for as little as $3. There are different options as well. So depending on the level, you can get some benefits from becoming a member. Sometimes you can suggest me topics, for example, to cover. We have an option where you, we can have a video call together every month. So have a look at YouTube membership and remember that we can only continue creating free content when we get help from people who care. <laughs> so if you are someone who cares about what we do, please consider becoming a YouTube member and you can do it for as little as three bucks a month, which is hopefully not much for you, but it can be a lot for us if enough people do it. So thank you. And now let's talk about the topic. All right, so this topic, there's quite a lot that I can say about it because I had a lot of these experiences and I know other people who have these experiences. And I want to start with saying first thing that we shouldn't be focusing on dark subjects so much. And this is a dark subject. The reason behind it is first, the more you become interested in this stuff or in these guys, the more they become interested in you and you probably want to avoid that. And second thing, a lot of people worry about stuff. You know, when they hear about these things, they start worrying about, oh, maybe I have one, or maybe I'm gonna have one, or what, what if I'm gonna have one, or something like that. That's also never good. You know, when you worry, you are actually way more likely to attract these types of things to you. This is why we should not pay attention so much on these darker things or negative things. But at the same time, if I'm not gonna make these types of videos or if there is no content about it, then people don't know how to avoid it, how to get out of these situations, how to protect themselves and how 
it works because it's important to understand how the problem works so we can try to avoid it or we can find solutions to these problems, right? So this is why sometimes I'm covering these types of topics. But once you understand it, learn from it and don't pay attention to it. Another thing I want to say, I think that um, some of the stuff that people think about demonic possession, let's say, is in, you know, coming from the movies where you see, I don't know, a woman who is possessed and, and a bunch of priests try to restrain her, something like that, and she has uh, superhuman powers or all these things. I think this is more Hollywood. A lot of people who might have entity attachment, because this is kind of what it is, you might see them on the street and they might even appear nice to you and you probably not going to know that they have some kind of entity attached to them. I think this is more realistic. So I think to have someone who is behaving in this crazy way as in the movies, I think that to see someone like in the movies where someone is really behaving aggressively or whatever, this is probably unlikely unless this person would be super weak let's say because actually here we're gonna get into one of the first things so you see the entities these negative beings if you're strong let's say your vital forces are strong it's hard for them to take over you or use you or influence you because you are protected so think about it as in this way same way like let's say you are eating junk food drinking alcohol maybe taking drugs you know you are not taking care of yourself even emotionally as well because that lowers your defenses and your immunity right you're under stress whatever or junk food or some of these things some of the behaviors you have might impact your natural immunity and then parasitical organisms try to feed off that you know try to take you over try to use you try to infect you for example right so it's kind of like that with these entities that i'm talking about as above so below because they are also parasitical but it's not so much about eating junk food this can lower your defenses but it's more about your mental state right so someone who is in low emotions like anger like egocentric behavior feeling of power selfish behavior depression anxiety or alcohol for example these types of people are match to these types of entities because you are in lack of coherence mentally for example emotionally and they love this type of stuff this is kind of like bees to honey or whatever you know they are drawn to that type of behavior energy and emotions but here we are talking about a more kind of temporary possession let's say right so you know someone who is in these vibrations emotions they are likely to draw these types of beings and these beings try to manipulate the person sometimes alcohol as well so you know they try to send thoughts to this person to kind of make it worse or to get more of that emotion that the person delivers but you know if this is just for example a couple of moments a day then you know this might be temporary right but there are these let's say possessions that work differently so sometimes a person might have a being that, like let's say demonic arconic whatever there are, there are these etheric parasites that can be attached to person 24 7 and sometimes it's on the back right so so the, the there is a hole in the auric field and the entity clinches like like a parasite like a, think about a tick right it's a little bit like that it attaches and stays 
and then it can try to influence the person in many different ways sometimes for example making the person kind of jump into these low emotional states low vibrational states so kind of making the person a little bit angry or sometimes it can kind of pollute some of the thoughts of this person so it can kind of influence send thoughts to the person the person's going to start acting in specific ways and de deliver emotions or behaviors that this being wants right but it doesn't mean it's going to be 24 7 all the time right the person is still themselves most of the time for example but it has this aspect this element that is kind of manipulating the person right you know the person is still themselves but there is this shadow that is impacting some of the behaviors of this person right and it depends depends on many things like if you look at someone like hitler who was using all sorts of drugs and he was constantly angry in these vibrations like he was probably 100% controlled so it was very little of Hitler a person running the show and 99% of these entities using him as a vehicle for their own agenda basically now for some, something like that to happen for having this possession that is not temporary as we described in the previous examples where you know some kind of emotions might attract a being for a short period of time something like that for the situation to have a being attached permanently it's not permanently but it might be for months sometimes and things like that there typically has to be some kind of free will agreement a karmic contract and uh, have a look at my content about karmic contracts because uh, this kind of mixes well with what i'm talking about here so for example everything is based on karmic contracts and free will the demon let's say or some kind of parasitical etheric entity cannot attach to a person without agreement because otherwise you know the rules of the game are that you cannot have anything attached to you if you are not allowing it right so how a person can get into a contract like that where the demon can attach long term this can be done through a couple of different ways so sometimes it could be some kind of ritual right there are a lot of tricky rituals in you know magic law of attraction 369s methods all this bullshit you know some kind of black magic and many other rituals praying to dt for asking for something right sometimes the this is a trick and manipulation and you think you're praying to some good guy and he's actually not a good guy this is a massive trick but here is a free will aspect sometimes for example a person gets into a contract and they're not consciously aware of the contract at this level but their higher selves or you know this was a part of their soul plan something like that so they're on the bigger picture this is actually something they wanted or already but here when they're in the body they they are not aware of it so for example let's say a person is very selfish right it's like some businessman or some kind of uh, person who wants to become a celebrity in the entertainment industry and they will do anything together hmm? you know they will sacrifice friendships they will uh, try to manipulate others to get what they want right this type of person is pp a vibrational match for these types of beings and these beings become interested in this person because now they can help this person right oh need some help here let's help her let's get the, them what they want 
but that's gonna come at a price. So they might now have the path that they desire, this person, but it's always gonna be manipulated so the entities get what they want. So sometimes it's gonna be a possession. So for example, you know, let's say a businessman who is super greedy, super selfish, will do anything to get their goals, might get a possession. The entity will manipulate the person to not take care of their health so much because they are constantly chasing money, right? And the person is in a lot of pain and agony all the time or anger, right? Because the business is moving well, but it's a lot of stress. And, uh, you know, I'm always busy and I don't have time to fix my health and things like that, right? And so the person becomes a vehicle for these entities, right? And delivers them emotions that they desire, anger, you know, feeling pain constantly, things like that. These low vibrational emotions, but they get what they wanted. And very often on top of that, the type of activity that this person is doing is also impacting others so the beings get more for themselves. So an example of that could be, for example, someone who is a techno DJ, let's say. <laughs> They're gonna get help from these beings, sometimes inspiration on how to do music, for example, or connections, like they're gonna meet the right person who's gonna help with the career, whatever, right? And what the person is doing now, the person is making music where people take a lot of drugs and alcohol and then they get into these low vibrational states and they, you know, they deliver the emotions for the entities, right? So this person is used f to create an impact many other people and these other people now deliver the emotions to the beings, right? So it's a kind of contract mutual relationship where someone gets their stuff, but they are being used as a vehicle to deliver more of for the rest of the entities, right? And a lot of people in the entertainment industry are working like that. I think most probably on the top. I mean, uh, you know, sometimes we had these encounters with these beings on psychedelics, me, my cousin, for example, I remember my cousin told me this story where, you know, sometimes we had discussions with them. Like, so I had attacks and then I would get like, oh, we can help you, we can give you money. I'm like, go and fuck yourself, you know. <laughs> I don't want any money from you. And my cousin, he had, uh, he always liked electronic music. I like electronic music myself. So during one of the sessions, he was getting... You know, he was listening to his one of the DJs he likes. I'm talking about psychedelic session, and these entities would jump and say, like, you know, you want to play like him? It was Adam Bayer, actually, the DJ and producer. And my cousin kind of liked him. So the, the beings would come in during the session and say to my cousin and show him the DJ and said, You want to play like him? We can sort it out for you, right? We can help you. And he was like, no, thank you. I'm not interested. So how do you recognize if you have this type of uh, attachments, let's say? Sometimes what happens is, uh, so, you know, like I said, to have a possession, let's say, that lasts longer, not a temporary possession, but a long-term one. There are has to be a contract, some kind of agreement based on free will or the person just desired something and and that was delivered to this person but the, the fee was, for example, entity possession and some other consequences. So some, some of these people, especially at the beginning, you can see their eyes are a little bit darker. Not like, you know, in the movies or anything like that, but sometimes the person looks like they're a little bit ill all the time, you know? Like, I've had a coaching client who did some ritual. Like, basically, this is why I always say, be very careful with any kind of rituals. 
a lot of these like pseudo psychics who basically offer some questionable treatments and sessions and they actually work for the dark side and they give you these attachments i don't remember what was it but basically she did some kind of session or ritual and then one day you know she had this kind of some wind she felt some wind and boom eyes got darker and she feels she has an entity or sometimes the entity tries to trick you in the dream this is happens so have a look at my video about dream hijacking so they might appear as someone you trust in the dream and you know they're gonna be like please agree to this and you're gonna be like yeah and then the next day you wake up and you have these eyes a little bit darker and you have an entity and let me give you a quick example so i published this video about dream hijacking and uh, the, the day i decided to make this video i asked my higher self what video should i make right give me some ideas and this came as an idea i felt like hmm, okay interesting so probably something's gonna happen and two days after i made the video my cousin who is actually working with me and he is editing these videos so we work together he had exactly what i described in the in the video so what happened was that he had this dream where in the dream there was like this food i don't remember like someone offered him a food or something and they said if they're gonna he if he gonna eat the food he gonna get some kind of uh, spiritual superpowers and he ate the food in the dream it was bitter he woke up and boom he had an entity possession darker eyes and things like that it's not like really dark but you can see it's almost like someone you know sometimes someone is ill has a flu or something and their their eyes are a little bit different so it's kind of a little bit like that sometimes and obviously we understand what's happened so he straight away said i'm canceling all contracts from the dream and it was gone right it's always with contracts and i'm gonna once we're gonna finish this episode i'm gonna give you a couple of examples of how to cancel these things as well so please watch till the end so my view is that a lot of these uh, beings they are basically like astral parasites you know some kind of arconic beings so think about it a little bit like that you have a physical body but the your soul is in the body now right and the soul kind of is the astral aspect of yourself but in the astral there are these other beings and uh, they kind of your soul is in the body but they can kind of jump into the body as well so your soul is the dominant energy that's running the body and then there is a little fucker that is trying to run the body as well and control you but it's all only going to happen with the contract so you had to somehow manifest that through rituals or law of attraction practices sometimes or desire very strong desire of something selfish for example because otherwise if there is no contract you are protected right now let me kind of tell you a couple of interesting stories so i when i was doing my sessions on psychedelics i had a lot of encounters with these types of beings and i remember some some of the sessions were kind of 50 50 you know i would get a lot of negative beings trying to attack me or trying to convince me give me some contracts or you know trying to make my life hard trying to tap into my third eye and then i would have the other half of the session where i get my higher self guidance and my guides and the sessions were very cha chaotic sometimes so i would literally have like five seconds of these guys five seconds of the other and you know and it switches from one to another because i'm trying to like have my own session but i'm being attacked at the same time because the negative guys want to make my life harder so i remember one of the sessions i wanted to ask about archangel michael i wanted to get some idea about him you know and we know that apparently he's the one who often is fighting demons right 
And I remember in this chaotic session, so these sessions would be like 50-50 almost, like, you know, I get a couple of seconds of negative guys and then switch to a good ones. And then again, it's very, very hardcore. So I wanted to ask something about him to, to my guides and my higher self. And the moment I thought about Archangel Michael, I get these, some, some negative being like, like this kind of arconic parasite tapped into my third eye. And he is like sending me these fluorescent texts. And it's like, don't call his name. You know, it's like, traitor. And all sorts of negative uh, adjectives, let's say, on Archangel Michael, right? So it's almost like I wanted to ask something, but they are so afraid of him. <laughs> that they're like, please don't call him. Don't, no, no. It's like in the movies, you know, when you have exorcism and someone is like trying to put like cross or holy water and they're like, ah, oh, no, like this kind of behavior, right? So I just wanted to ask something about him. And straight away, like I get these texts in front of my eyes, like, don't call him don't call his name ah traitor so obviously they are afraid of him <laughs> it's kind of also show sometimes how path pathetic some of these beings are because it's a little bit like like Gollum in the lord of the rings of some of these beings like eh, they are like you know afraid it depends. There are some really nasty ones. There are some, some, some very, very advanced ones. Really, you know, this one was probably like a low level. In another session, I was also having like one of these sessions where 50-50, I was getting a lot of attacks. And um, I was being explained, I was shown my heart chakra, which would be presented to me exactly like the symbol you see on the internet, for example, how they show heart, the heart chakra, this green kind of symbol and things. There is a symbol in the middle. So I would be shown that when I was being attacked. And I was getting downloads and explanation that this is my protection mechanism, right? So I would be shown basically a scene where, you know, it was very chaotic because I was getting attacks and I was, it's like, Switch is like five seconds you get downloads from your higher self and from your uh, spirit guides. And then five seconds you get these fuckers that try to make your life hard all the time. And it's like, tune, 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 tune. It's switching. So, so they try to tap into your third eye. And it's very chaotic. This, these types of sessions would be very chaotic sometimes. And I was being explained about the heart center, you know, being shown the protection and all these things. And I wasn't sure if this is, I've done it or it was a vision. Then I realized it was a vision. I was being shown it as a vision. But basically when I was being attacked in that session, you know, I was being explained about the heart center, how it protects myself. I was being shown to do a bubble kind of to protect myself. I was getting these like beings trying to like, you know, get closer to me. And I was protecting myself with, uh, with the bubble around me from the heart chakra. And finally I hear just say no and push, and this whole bubble just exploded and pushed all these beings around me. Like like bang, they just exploded. And and I was like, wow, did I do that? <laughs> you know, and later on because it was so chaotic and I wasn't sure if I was doing it or it was a vision. But later later I realized it was most likely a vision. It was just showing me what I can do, how I can protect myself. Now, another thing about these negative beings is that remember that everything is free will and they cannot impact you without you allowing it somehow. So for them to feed and to continue, they need to get supply of energy somehow, right? And for them, energy is negative emotions, for example, suffering, stress, you know, anxiety, sexual energy, sometimes all the negative elements. Sexual energy, if it's done not with love, but like, for example, some kind of dominant sex or whatever. So this is like a food for them, right? For them to exist, they need to feed off 
negative emotions and vibrations and uh, you know things like that but they cannot get them without a free will of the person or the person somehow allowing that or generating that right so that's why people who are service to self or very selfish they attract these beings because the beings becomes interested because this person can deliver them what they want right so the more you are service to self for example the more you are likely to be influenced by these beings or getting some help from these beings because you know then they can take advantage of the person right but it's kind of like a mutual relationship right one cannot exist without the other if people are love and light and you know service to others these beings cannot exist around these people because there is nothing for them to feed off so it works both ways right so if the person is becoming more service to others higher vibrations then this person starts attracting help from the positive beings very often because the positive beings work in the other way around so they want to help as well others because when they help others they get their karma back they can polarize themselves as positive further you know to increase their evolution and get better and better but to do that they cannot help anyone they can only help people who are either asking for it or deserving it through their actions so karma and asking is a uh, be careful with that because a lot of positive beings in religious books are not positive they are tricks so the best way is to keep your vibrations high avoid whatever negative intentions emotions desires things like that try to be service to others and help you're gonna sooner or later you might get back help but without giving too much because sometimes what happens is that people who give too much they become used by a lot of parasitical people around us so be careful you know if you are someone's taking advantage of you that doesn't help right so if you want to be service to others more be careful to not give too much as well because you might attract uh, these parasitical people as well okay so how do you get rid of, of these little fuckers <laughs> if they if they are like attached you know it's complex it's not so simple because it depends on the contract it depends on the agreement but what you can try is first of all you know always work on your emotions your vibrations keep yourself healthy physically mentally your intentions should be pure as much as possible you avoid any kind of low vibrational emotions desires actions things like that all right the more you are in these high states the less likely you're gonna get affected avoid alcohol you know stress depressed thoughts some kind of uh, low level desires etc this is just the basic right if you watch my content i talk quite a lot about this stuff so you can have a look at other videos psychic protection for example things like that but once let's say you might have a contract you might be in these types of situations you can always try to cancel contracts daily i say every day i cancel all contracts that do not serve my highest purpose i cancel all contracts that do not serve my highest purpose this might work sometimes you can try this one as well i cancel all contracts with the dark side you can try this one as well i do not allow any negative energy or negative entities to enter my space or be in my space until further notice i do not allow any negative energies or negative entities to be in my space or occupy my space until further notice this works kind of long term everything is free will right so it's very important how these formulas are set right because until further notice might give you a protection long term for example 
But again, it depends on many things. You know, I don't know your individual circumstances. And sometimes there are different types of contracts, you know. Sometimes the contracts might be even from previous incarnations as well. I've seen this type of stuff as well. Because really, like, you live one incarnation, let's say, you go in and out. So this sometimes drags until you're going to cancel them. And uh, in my video about the 369 method, why it's dangerous towards the end, I gave this uh, formula for contract cancellation. It's like a full formula that you want, might want to check as well. Or if you want to get it, you can send me a message somewhere. Find me on Instagram, Mike Segula. Send me a message that you want to get this formula, full formula. I, I can send it to you. Okay, so that's it for today. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Uh, if you need some help with your spiritual development, I do coaching one-on-one. -on -one. So have a look at truefury.com forward slash coaching. Check out different options there and uh, get in touch. And thank you if this video makes sense. If it resonates, please give it a like. Let me know what you think about it in the comments and share it with others. This is really important if you guys share the content because then more people can learn from it and can help more people and at the same time more people can discover the content it helps with algorithm and things like that so thank you so much for watching another episode of true spirituality until next time